it's Farron here and I got an unboxing today of the Dark Elves Cauldron of Blood. And uh, here's just all the um, outer packaging, the standard that you expect from GW. It's very nicely presented. And on the reverse side of the box we have got the alternative version. Which again I'll just I'll zoom in and well, I'll zoom in out. So yeah, we've got all your little painting options here. So it's very, so it's very nice to look at. It's a uh, good amount of extras by the looks of it, on depending on what version you do. But the, uh, but looking at it, it looks really nice. So I'm gonna get the instructions now and um, have a little gander. So here's the instructions. And so basically, we have got our dark elves um, cauldron of blood here. And then over here we've got the Dark Elves uh, Blood Rack Shrine. Now um, I'm going to be doing this version, the actual Cauldron of Blood itself, because that, with this figure over here, it looks like an Eldar um, avatar. And it'll just look awesome. I mean, I, I looked at it briefly, it must be about 10 centimetres tall. It's quite big, that's just that bit there, which is about 10 centimetres, it's really nice. I mean, the, the regular type of instructions that you'd expect from Games Workshop in their new kits, showing you what you can and can't do. I mean, some, a lot of lovely detail in here. I mean, it's just oozing with detail. It's just lovely. It's just going to be an absolute joy to paint. And I think you're going to have to, if you are going to attempt to paint this, it's going to have to be done in sub assemblies because just the way the, the actual, um, this part of the vehicle looks. I and mean, it's nice. It is really nice. But this figure here, this is really, really cool. That just looks really nice. Let's see if I can get a zoom on that. Yeah, that'll do. I'll show you the plastic. So, yeah, we all know what comes from this part. We all know how it works, the instructions. It's really, really nice miniatures that you get in here. Just looks so nice. Absolutely looking forward to painting all of this. Got to get my space walls done first, though. So uh, I don't know if anybody's interested in doing a group build with the new Dark Elves. Drop me a line. That would be something. That'd be cool. Okay, on with the plastic. There so you get four stands, which you get here. You get the, the large stand for the chariot bit thing itself for the cauldron of blood itself and then uh, you get a 25 mil sorry two 25 millimeter bases for the smaller miniatures that are freestanding and then you get a full 40 millimeter square for the uh, medusa type figure so uh, yeah this looks promising so and if you notice this stands a bit bigger than a not than the regular chariot stand as well just give you a comparison so you've got an idea so yeah, you can see what the difference is going to be. All right, push out to one side. Okay, on with the shrine itself. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So I just got a little zoom in on it. So as you can see, the um, some really nice plastic on here gone a bit blurry what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pick up the sprue put my hand behind it and get a better look for you so he needs a sat nav right so there you go look at that all that detail on these steps here all engraved down the, every other step and then you've got the main dark elves insignia there it's really nice and the same over here as well on the lower steps. Uh, this is just oozing with detail. I mean, you got got uh, this part here. Look at all that. It's lovely. That's better. That's the proper side of it. And then you got all these parts that join the stairwell together. Even the wheels, you know, got some really nice detail on those. It's really nice. And the chains that are hanging off the axles here. 
oh, they're really cool and they're like real spiky chains as well so if, if they run over anybody I'll uh, mangle them up a little bit so yeah that sprue is really nice I can't get over how well this detail looks oh, I'm really really stoked with this oh it's awesome I urge you to buy one and then look at this guy here the, um, I'm going to call this the avatar I mean, look at that that's just some really really nice detail on that and then um, over there you got his back and his arms oh and his butt and then down here you got the little guy which holds the um, let's see if I can get that in focus who holds the, the, char uh, the cauldron and some crazy hair typical elf crazy hair <laughs> but yeah that's pretty damn cool actually I mean, look at the detail on, on these miniatures here. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. It's really crisp. Um, I can't, even from here, there's a slight mold line on that one. There we go. There's another one there. Yeah, really cool. There, yeah, look at that. It's nice. And then on uh, further down here, more miniatures. There's two more. Oh, this is lovely. Two more minches there under my hand. So I'm really pleased with this. I tell you guys, girls, you got to get this kit. And look at that. The Medusa character. That is just... And the staff she's holding as well. It's huge. It's about two and a half inches. It's really cool. And then you've got the uh, Avatar's uh, actual uh, sword he's holding up there as well. Which is really, really nice. Oh, God, I just love this kit. It's just oozing with just so much detail. And the um, the amount of parts you get for the serpent is about half a dozen parts, I would say. Because you look at those. Well, three parts for the actual snake body there. And under my finger here is the uh, head of the serpent. And then you've got a body over there. So about five or six parts, including the base, I say. Oh, and that arm. Look at that arm. Bloody out Edward Scissorhands or what. Look at that. There, there, look at that. Bloody hell. Nice. Anyway, that's pretty much it for that unboxing. I could rant and rave and ramble all day. But I'm going to end the video here because I'm on seven minutes already. So uh, please like, comment and subscribe, subscribe and tell us what you think. Because I think that's a lovely kit. And if you haven't got it, get it. Because I think it's going to be a real joy to paint. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.